Hi, I'm Glenn Sanders with Somfy Systems, and I'm going to be presenting Somfy's Tahoma system to you today. Okay, Tahoma is a Z-Wave home automation system uh, designed to operate with the Somfy motorized systems and also regular uh, Z-Wave uh, interface devices such as light switches, uh, dimmers, etc. I'll start you off by uh, looking in at the installer view. This is where an installer would start setting up the system. First you would end up uh, designing your house by adding the different rooms. We have a lot of rooms that are already preset. You know, as you can see, there's a few of them set up. We have some already selected in this particular presentation, but you can add as many rooms as you want and you can create new rooms if you don't see one that matches your system. After that, you go to the device configurator. This is where you would end up adding the Z-Wave devices into the system. It can be either a Z-Wave interface to the Somfy motors or regular Z-Wave devices such as lamps, etc. You start off by telling the device to, the system to listen for the device, and then you go to the particular Z-Wave device, hit the pairing button, it will show up on your screen telling you you have a device such as a lamp, it will identify it, and you can at that point type in your own special user name that you want to have for it, like a patio shade or a kid's room light, etc. That way it's easier for you to identify rather than a raw number. At this point you have three different ways that the system can be uh, uh, three different event configurations that you can end up having. You have a scene configurator. This is where you would program in scenes that the user would uh, activate. This is a user activated function. At this, in any scene that you would end up having, you would, such as a morning wake up scene, you would decide which lights you want on, which shades you want open, awnings you want out, uh, you know, any devices that you want to turn on and off to create that particular scene. We also have an event configurator, and an event configurator uses a trigger device. A good example would be a motion sensor. You can have a motion sensor in your kitchen where if the uh, motion sensor finds, uh, senses a, a movement in the kitchen, it can turn the light on, but only if it's after six o'clock where the light would be needed. In the evening, you can even have it at midnight where the light would turn on at 30%. So it, it's bright enough that you can you know, walk around the kitchen and find uh, your snack that you want, but without waking everybody up in the uh, house and uh, ruining your night vision. And the final way to uh, trigger an event is the schedule configurator. When you end up hitting the schedule configurator, it allows you to schedule events that would be triggered either by time, date of the week, or a calendar event, so you could have an away home that might only have the thermostat lowered from, uh, let's say, May to June, if that was your special uh, vacation house, or you can even do it via sunrise. It has in it program for your location and the time of the year when sunrise will actually end up being, so you can trigger an event to open uh, shades, close shades, um, set out awnings, turn on lights, uh, you know, turn off lights based on sunrise or sunset, and you can offset that by plus or minus 60 minutes. So that's basically all the installer would end up needing to do. At that point, we have the user window. The, in the user window, you see these are the events that might be programmed for a special uh, use. If the user tr triggers an event, they can do this by any computer that's tied into their network. Uh, the system will also support iPhones or iPads. They're free download apps, and we will have uh, Android apps available soon.